So the first thing we'll go over today is how to repair your Sims 4 game in Origin. It's pretty simple. You go to My Games, right click on The Sims 4, and click on Repair Game. The second fix that we're going to tackle today is a little bit more complicated, but it's going to solve a lot more problems than just the Repair Game option. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to My Documents, go into Electronic Arts, and see your Sims 4 folder. Now there's two different ways to handle this. You can either just move your Sims 4 folder to the desktop or rename your Sims 4 folder. Both ways will preserve all of your save files, mods, any custom music collections, or screenshots. Once we have either renamed our Sims 4 folder or moved our Sims 4 folder to the desktop, then we can go into Origin and launch the Sims 4, as the game is gonna go ahead and make a new Sims 4 folder for us to work with at that point. Then we can go back into our documents, open up that old Sims 4 folder, and we can start moving over our save files, our custom music, our tray folder, which is gonna have all of our library information, and go from there. Whenever we're pulling over our save files, we can safely pull over all of the save files in the folder. We don't have to worry about the scratch folder. The scratch folder is actually temporary files that are only in use when the game is actually running. So we can pretty much dump that folder and we don't have to worry about it. Another thing we don't have to be concerned about is while we're moving our save files over in that new Sims 4 folder, you don't have to be concerned about moving and replacing that old save 000001 file because that's actually the new save file, which essentially has nothing on it. So you can go ahead and replace that without any concerns. The next thing that you might want to do is, I know those of you that use mods and custom content, you might want to move that over to your new folder, but in this situation I would stress probably don't until you know that your issue has actually been resolved as mods and custom content can cause some issues within your game. Your tray folder at this point would be safe to pull over as your tray folder is going to contain library information like saved houses, saved sims, lots, things like that. Another thing you can pull over is custom music and screenshots. Once you've adjusted all of your settings after you've opened your game back up, if you find that you're still experiencing all those same little bugs that you were having before, or maybe it was one bug in particular that was causing you some issue in your game, then at this point, you might wanna try our last option. Our last option is probably the most drastic of the three, but it tends to fix a lot of issues if not all issues because you're essentially starting with a brand new, fresh, clean game. There are some things you're going to lose, but a lot of things you will retain. The most important things, I believe, you will retain in your new game. So how our final fix works is you're essentially taking your families, your lots, households, everything that you want to keep, you're saving it from your existing game, and you're going to plop them all down into your new game. You will lose things like relationships, you will lose your clubs, retail points, inventories, things like that. But the most important of those, like your inventories and the collectibles you've gotten, you can actually save. If you drag the things from your inventory that you want to retain, to the ground in your home before you save it, they will actually stay in your library when you plop the new home down. So you want to go ahead, go into build mode, save the lot to your library. Doesn't matter if you're overwriting an existing one unless you want to keep those separate. And then what you will do is, if you're already in the play mode for your family, you can go ahead and go to live mode, take your sim, go to change appearance, and you can actually save the family from there. Once you've saved your family and saved your household, you might want to keep in mind any other lots that are important to you in the save file, such as possibly a retail store that you've worked on, or maybe any other families that you've created that you would like to keep with your existing family in the new save file. Unfortunately, you will lose friendships between them, but those are easily built back up. So once you have saved all the families and the lots that you would like to keep in your new save file, you can go ahead and Go up to the ellipses in your top right corner, and you can exit out to the main menu. 
One thing you want to keep in mind before you do this, though, is how much money your Sims have, as we're going to be giving that money back to them in the new save file. So once we've gotten back out to the main screen, we can go ahead and hit the plus sign up in the top right corner, as that's going to start a new game. As daunting as this may seem, it's really not too difficult, once we get started, to go ahead and bring all of our sims back that we had before. So if we go up to the gallery, we can open up our library and find the sims family that we had before, the one that we want to put into our new game. We can replace the existing sim, as it's a random sim that the game created for us. At this point, we can discard any sims that we don't want in the family anymore, such as one named Diana Fire. Our sim will retain all of their traits and skills, and we can start our new game. At this point, we'll need to get our sims back the money that they had before to be able to afford their new home. Once we've placed our sims, then we can go ahead and plop down our old house, find an appropriate lot for it, replace any other lots that we may not need. We can change the orientation of the house or the entire lot if it doesn't suit what we need. And you'll see here that we kept all of the items that we had before. We'll go ahead and also place this retail store down that we saved. We're putting them down furnished so we can keep not only all the same furniture, but we can keep all the same collectibles and upgrade parts and whatever else we might have left on the floor whenever we left the last save file. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our family and make sure we go ahead and give them the same amount of money they had before. So if you hit control shift C and do testing cheats space on, it'll enable cheats, then money space the amount that we would like to give them, it will actually give them the exact amount that you type in. My family had just over $483,000 as I did a little math before I moved to the new save file. So I can go ahead and give them that amount. Then, just for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and do testing cheats off. Now that they have the money that they need, I can go ahead and move them into the household. Go ahead and pick the same house that we had last time. And once we get into the house, everything should look pretty familiar. You can see that we have the same garden. While we did lose our inventories and things like that, all the important stuff is still there, such as their traits and their skills. And they'll even have the same career. Then we'll go ahead and have our other Sim buy back that retail store that they had. And you'll notice in the retail store, even all the food that we had made before is still there. It doesn't show that it was made by the same person anymore, but at least we still have the items in the store. Once you've saved all the lots and households that you would like to retain in your new save file, then you can go ahead and go to the ellipses in the top right corner and save your game or save as if you would like to better differentiate between save files, and you can go back out to that main menu. While the final fix may be the most complicated one, it keeps a lot of our favorite Sims files and families and houses playable. I hope this fixed the Sims issues that you've had and thanks for joining me this week. I will see you again next Wednesday for my next Sims video.